So show IP interface brief. Various interfaces are found. We need to know shut VLAN 1 on the switch. So interface VLAN 1, no shut. We can see that VLAN 1 has come up and a new EIGRP neighbor relationship has been formed. So show IP interface brief. We can see that both of the loopback and a VLAN 1 are up. So interfaces are up. But I mustn't forget the most important piece, which is to set the secret password of the switch. So enable secret Cisco, save the configuration. So again, show IP interface brief. Interfaces are up. Show run shows us the secret password. If I exit out of the switch and type enable, I can log back in with the password of Cisco. So this looks good. I'm going to save the device configuration now. Show IP route shows us various routes and we should be able to ping the loopback of router one and the loopback of router two, which we can. So again, show IP route shows us the routing table and we can ping the loopbacks of the routers. Now on router one, router one was rebooted when we reset the power of the switch, but I can log in and I should be able to ping the switch, which I can. Same on router two, should be able to ping the loopback of the switch, which I can. So at this point, I've reset passwords. I've restored device configurations and proven that we can ping the loopbacks of all devices. Now we need to verify that when devices are reloaded, configurations are restored using the new passwords. So again, I'll save the configuration of the switch to make sure. Show startup config shows us the switch configuration. So I'll power cycle the devices. Devices are rebooted. Switch one is booting up. So is router one. So is router two. So let's see if the devices boot and apply their configurations correctly and allow us to log in. So here's switch one, type enable, password is Cisco. I can log into the switch, show IP interface brief, shows me various interfaces that are up. We need to wait for spanning tree to converge. Here's router one, enable, can log in with the password of Cisco, that looks good. Neighbor relationships are being formed. Router two, enable, password of Cisco, that looks good. Show IP interface brief, shows me that interfaces are up. Can we ping router one? Yes, we can. Can we ping the switch? Yes, we can. On the switch, can we ping the loopback of router one? Yes, we can. The loopback of router two? Yes, we can. And our local loopback. So I've successfully verified that when devices are reloaded, configurations are restored using the new passwords of Cisco. So we've completed that lab. Make sure that you know how to restore passwords for the CCNA exam. So how did you do with this lab? Were you able to complete the lab and successfully restore passwords? Make sure that you know how passwords work and how password recovery works for the CCNA exam.